To me, data science is this really exciting new field that empowers people to really explore any question that may interest them. Certainly in Berkeley, I can feel this wave of data science. <laughs> uh, 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 and I think it's a very good thing. I think the vision that every student, regardless of uh, the stage she or he is at in undergrad, can be exposed to you know, data and critical thinking because data is ever and is prevalent in every field. It has 700 students, so you can't get a population that large without a lot of variety of the people who are taking it and a lot of different goals for the students who are taking it. What really thrilled me about data science was that I immediately saw how applicable it was to everything else I was learning. From analyzing neural networks in my cognitive science courses, to hearing about how it is used to predict and interpret election results in the news. I actually never thought that data would be this applicable to my city planning minor. Currently in the class, I am working on a project analyzing data on the happiest cities in America, scraping information from sites like Yelp and Google to determine location of coffee shops and parks, and figuring out if that determines the happiest parts of the cities in America. Data science is already transforming the academic environment across all sorts of fields. Historians now have the ability to read previously illegible documents, and ecologists can model populations at much larger scales. The students who are working on data science are often really trying to find connections to whatever else they're studying. So I see a lot of questions you know, from a student who is studying political science and taking a data science course about trying to understand how the ideas that they've learned elsewhere really connect in, so they become uh, capable of doing interesting things really early on. We did a project on any correlations between water usage data in California as well as like income data. So we're trying to see do people with higher incomes use more or less water than people with lower incomes? And it's just so interesting. Both the Data 8 and the Study 8 has opened up my mind to like the probability theory and how inner workings of data and associations work. It's so cool. So it's a really powerful way to get the underlying truth of what's going on in the world around us.